Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter. Now, those who are closer friends of mine, can you believe that this is happening? That John Foley, the technical, technically savvy John Foley, is uh, doing this, bold enough to do this this morning. Anyway, we're going to give it a try. So, uh, what a what a wonderful what a wonderful thing to do to get gather the Cristo Ray family together to pray and uh, acknowledge that um, we are trying to be followers of Jesus Christ. We're trying to be followers of the man who rose from the dead. He's rising from the dead. We are, we are celebrating today. What a wonderful thing. We can't be doing, I'm not, we, we can't be doing a better thing than gathering together and praying. So well, it's a wonderful thing. Now, um, and welcome to my house. If you can see behind me, you've got a, we have a sunny morning in Chicago, and uh, nice to have you here. Uh, in, in Peru, there's a wonderful custom among the uh, simple people who live in the highlands, and when they have uh, when they come together to for any kind of a, a presentation or something like that, they, they say to the people that are there, uh, "You will all know." You will all be able to uh, pardon any mistakes that we make. So I'm going to say that to you this morning. You will all be, um, please be patient with us, especially with me. And uh, we're, going to, um, we're going to praise the Lord, talk to the Lord, come before the Lord all together. And we may make a mistake or two on the way, but here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. If you have something to follow, Please follow, answer the prayers. If you don't, just answer them in your heart. So, Lord, we come before you this morning. You are fresh from the tomb. You just came out and you are, we know you're listening to us. We know, we know you're hearing us. And we know that uh, you're embracing each and every one of us. She came back from the dead love us more. So we begin as we always do in all of our masses by, by acknowledging that we, are, we aren't up to what this is all about. We aren't up to, to, to this gospel challenge. And so we say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let's do the Gloria. If you have it there, please, please read with, along with me. If you don't, as I said before, just uh, go, go let, it, let it ring from your heart. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. All right. This is, um, we have a reader from across the country. We have a reader. The first reading, I hope, is going to be done by Isabella. Isabella Sosteaga. Sosteaga. She is a student at San Miguel High School in a student at the Cristo Rey School in San Miguel, San Miguel High School in Tucson, Arizona. So Isabella, 
Please read the first reading. Sorry to disappoint, but we have technical problems with Isabella. But you read the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man got raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now Elizabeth Gettle, who is the president and CEO of the Cristo Ray Network, is going to lead us in the psalm. Please join in the responsorial psalm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This, this is, is the day, day the, the Lord, Lord has made. made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord, the Lord has, has made. made. Let, Let us, us rejoice, rejoice and, and be glad. glad. Second reading, I hope, will be done by Aaron Healy. Aaron is the principal of our Cristo Rey Jesuit school in Twin Cities. A reading from the book of Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so we turn to the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first, bent down and saw the burial cloths laid there, saw the burial cloths lit there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. But they did not yet understand the scripture 
that he had to rise from the dead. And this is the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, before I comment on the feast, they let me thank those who had to do with this. A couple of days ago, one of our Crystal Ray Network board members, Leo Sheridan, called me and, and proposed this idea. So, Leo, you are the, the culpable one here. And thank you for thank you for being so creative. And then our whole Crystal Ray family, people at the network, the people at the schools, God bless you for your creativity and for your enthusiasm about celebrating our faith together. I want to just comment briefly this morning on a word you're going to hear so often during these times of, of Easter time. And the word is hallelujah. Once someone once asked a Jesuit friend of mine how he would trans, translate hallelujah in modern English. And he said, he thought about it for a moment and he said, would you believe it? So we are Alleluia people. We are in an Alleluia time of the year, of the liturgical year. Our liturgy, our prayers are going to be filled with Alleluias. And they're going to be filled with, with wonder at, would you believe it? Would you believe it? If I had told, if I had told you two months ago, that we were going to stop the world, get everyone off the streets, and have people walk around with masks on, you would have laughed at me. Seems unbelievable, but it really happened. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? How about Almighty God becoming a human being? Billy Graham said that the fact that God became man is as if we were to look down on an anthill and say, I'm going to become like an ant. So if someone suggested that God should become, the, 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 that the divinity should become a human being, it would sound ridiculous, but it really happened. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? In a few minutes at this mass, as in every mass, this piece of bread and cup of wine are going to be changed into the body and blood of Christ. I'm going to say this is the body and blood of Christ. I've had occasions to say mass with people who didn't know what the mass was about. And it stuck in my throat to tell them, now we don't, we believe that this, what looks like bread and wine is no longer bread and wine. Except that is really what is going on that's happening at the Mass. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? Christ rose from the dead. Really? You're a dreamer. People don't rise from the dead. Except that is exactly what happened. Jesus was dead one day. And then he rose and walked around again. That's what happened. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? One day, almost 25 years ago, a group of people said there are too many young men and women being left behind. They don't have a chance to get a good college prep education because they can't afford it. Let's open a school for them anyway, even if they can't cover the cost. Some people said that was a crazy idea, except that today, 18,000 have graduated from our Cristo Rey schools and there are another 12,000 going to our schools today. That's what is happening. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? We are hallelujah people living in hallelujah land. Thanks to our faith in what Christ has taught us. Christ is hallelujah personified. It is still happening. He is still rising from the dead all around us. Alleluia people can see it. As believers and Alleluia people ourselves, it is our job to help make them see God working in our world. 
God walks with us. God is not to be contained. Even death submits to his love. The greatest lesson in this pandemic is that God is in charge. We aren't. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? Let's pray our act of faith all together. You have the, if you have it there before you, if not, just tell God you want to be one with us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Would you believe it? Hallelujah. I read a beautiful prayer recently that has to do with the pandemic, and I think it fits perfectly for our petition. So let me let me. First of all, we call upon you, Lord, our risen Lord, our resurrected Lord. Hear our prayers this morning. We have so many needs. We were born needy, and we continue to be needy every day of our lives. Help us to always come to you with all that we need. And so we pray. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we who have no risk factors remember those most vulnerable. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray to the Lord. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close, remember those who have no option. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we who have to cancel our trips, remember those who have no safe place to go. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market, Remember those who have no margin at all. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home, remember those who have no home. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our, present, our country and ourselves are going through uncharted waters, uncharted times. May, may we be alleluia people. May we see how you are, how you continue to be at work 
all around us in our world. And you continue to lead us and call us by, by our names and call us to follow you ever more closely, even in these difficult times. Hear us and answer us through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. So we go on with our Mass. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. The Lord accept the sacrifice on our hands to the praise and glory of God's name, our good and the good of all God's children. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them, so they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Hallelujah, would you believe it? In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Hallelujah. Would you believe it? mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, please, our Bishop, and all those who work to advance your kingdom. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's prepare ourselves to receive communion, even though it's only spiritually. Nothing wrong with spiritual communion. By praying just as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace, everybody. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is the body and the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Lord, fill us with your presence. Help us to be your, your hands and your eyes in the world around us. Help us to realize that even, or maybe even more so, in the midst of a pandemic, you are alive and well. You are loving us, leading us, caring for us, calling us. You are wanting your kingdom to come, nonetheless, every day of our lives. Help us to help others to see how you're alive and well. Help us to help others to see how you arose from the dead that you really do walk with us, even though we wear masks and don't get near anybody. Help us to be signposts to remind ourselves and our world that your love continues. Your love is off the charts. You are crazy about us, even though things seem so difficult. Bless all those who are suffering in a special way during this pandemic. Bless all those 
for whom death is very near. Bless all those families who are grieving. A family member who has been taken. May this pandemic help us to be alleluia people. May we see your love at work in our world more and more clearly every day. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. During the eve, during the Easter season, put a few alleluias at the end of Mass. Go in peace, the Mass is over. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, you know, they say about a Jesuit liturgy that it's a good liturgy if no one gets hurt. I don't think anybody got hurt this morning, did they? Do we have any wounded among us? Then it, then it was a good liturgy. So um, God bless you all. Thanks for your enthusiasm for Cristo Rey. Thank you for your enthusiasm for the kingdom of God. May this all continue to be for the good of all of us who are trying to be followers of Jesus. Happy Easter, everybody. And thanks to the team once again put this all together and please pardon the few mistakes we had. Now go home and wait for the Easter bunny. <laughs>